Next, I'm going to explain to you about the concept of contribution. So this concept is very important for you to understand the break-even analysis. So what is contribution? As we have seen earlier, contribution is the amount of revenue available after deduction of your variable cost from sales. So we have seen earlier, total sales less your total variable cost equals to your total contribution. So you can look at it from the total perspective or you can look at it from the per unit perspective. If you are looking from the per unit perspective, <clears throat> that will be your selling price per unit less your total variable cost per unit gives you your contribution per unit. So what's the use of contribution? Contribution is being used to cover your fixed cost and if there were to be any extra, that will be used to cover your profit. So sales less your total variable cost gives you your total contribution. So less your total fixed cost gives you your net profit. Okay, so contribution less your total fixed cost gives you your net profit. So contribution is the fund out of which cost must be paid. So if there is any excess, it will contribute to your profit. So contribution is a key measure of profitability. So the more contribution that you have, the more will be the profit, provided that your fixed cost is constant. Okay, so let's look at this in more detail. So for example, this one, you have your sales less your variable cost gives you your contribution. And what's the use of contribution? First, it is being used to cover your fixed cost. So contribution is being used first to cover your fixed cost. Then, if you have any extra, that contribution will be used to cover your profit. Just take a small figure. Just take, for example, you are selling four units at a selling price of five ringgit per unit. Okay, so five times four gives you 20. So your total revenue or your total sales is 20. Less your variable cost, assuming that your variable cost per unit is two. So two times four gives you eight. So that gives you a contribution of 12. Given that your total fixed cost is 10, so 12 minus 10 gives you a profit of 2. Okay? What if you, you have an increase in your sales? Assuming now, let's say you sell 6 units. So that 6 units, your sales is 30. And your variable cost now becomes 12. So 6 units times 2 gives you 12. So, your contribution now is 18. You have increased in your contribution. And we assume in the short run that our fixed cost remain constant. So, your fixed cost remains at 10. So, by increasing in your contribution, that gives you more profit to your company. So, 18 is your contribution now given that your fixed cost remain constant. So, this fixed cost remain constant regardless of the level of activity or the quantity that you produce. So, you uh, can increase your profit. Okay, so contribution it can lead to increase in your profit. So, the more contribution that you have, the more profit that you're going to get, provided that your fixed cost constant. So, the more con is the contribution, the more will be the profits, provided the fixed cost remain uh, constant. Okay, next, when you want to calculate your uh, break-even, you can use three, there are three methods that you can use to calculate your break-even. So, one is using the equation technique. Next, you can use the contribution technique. The third one is you can use the graphical technique. So, all these three methods will give you the same answer. So, you just have three different approaches to calculate your break-even point or your break-even computation, but all these three methods will give you the same answer. So we will look into each of these in more detail one by one. So the equation is whereby you look at your sales, less your total variable cost, less your total fixed cost, gives you your profit. This is the formula that we already have looked into before. Okay, the second one is, uh, 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 you can look at it from the per, per unit, Per unit, that means how you work it out, okay? Just now, the sales, the total sales, total sales will be your selling price per unit times the unit sold 
minus the variable cost per unit times the unit sold minus the total fixed cost. That gives you your profit. If you are using the contribution technique, you are using the formula. So the break-even sales in units is calculated as total fixed cost divided by the contribution per unit. Or if you are working that in value, that will be your break-even uh, sales in value. Uh, to work out your break-even in value, that will be your total fixed cost divided by your CS ratio. CS ratio stands for your contribution to sales ratio. If you are using the graph, you can work out the uh, contribution, uh, the, sorry, the break-even point in units as well as in value. So, uh, I will explain each of these in more detail in the next video. So, for example, I'm uh, I will use the same example to demonstrate all these three methods to calculate your break-even uh, point. Okay, uh, for example, the selling price per unit is 20 the variable cost per unit is 8. The annual fixed cost or the total fixed cost is 60,000. Present sales means uh, currently you are selling 8,000 units. Okay, currently you are, you are producing and selling 8,000 units. Based on the above information, you are required to calculate the break-even point in units and value. So you are required to calculate the break-even point in units, means the, in the quantity, how many units that you need to produce in order for you to break even. In value means how you convert that into RM, okay, the monetary value. So you need to calculate that either using the equation technique. We can first look into the equation technique. And next, we look into the contribution technique. And the last one, we will look into the graphical technique to solve this uh, uh, question.